supermarket, symbol of the high standard of living in this country today. The supermarkets. These products come from farms and ranches despite distance and season. They are the result of a miraculous agriculture. Tremendous advances on the farm and in the marketing system have created this miracle. The miracle whereby American agriculture has advanced more in the space of a single lifetime than world agriculture had in more than 7,000 years. Today, agriculture is going far beyond nature to produce new miracles for an even better, more abundant life. The work of the men behind the scenes is done on the farm, in the laboratory, and in the marketplace. On the farm today, wherever you look, you see the handiwork of scientists. Improved crops, more productive soils, more useful, more efficient machinery. Credit the men behind the agricultural scene with increasing the marketability of most crops. Today's cabbage packs more vitamin C. The stringless string bean has more snap. New potatoes are now available all the year. Not only has agriculture miraculously increased yields, feed more people, the machines have... Take this combine. It harvests 400 an hour. Scientists working to improve plant quality through breeding have given potatoes shallow eyes, so they're easier to peel. And they have also improved storage methods. Modern communications are helping this farmer sell his lettuce. This is just one of 200 perishable products which move to market when and where needed, thanks to an intricate market information system. As for celery, production could only keep up with demand through research in soil-borne diseases, in weed control, in field trimming and field packing. Great new harvesting systems and distribution methods had to be developed to bring these crops from faraway farms fresh to our tables. And so a rolling factory gathers together the goodness of nature and does it economically. Through imagination and hard-won knowledge, through science and technology, agriculture works newer and newer miracles. Our camera is taking you behind the scenes to show you how. Throughout the marketing system, prove handling, processing, and packaging. Maintaining farm fresh quality all the way to your dinner table. Here, powerful vacuum coolers and ice water preserve the quality of sweet corn. Today's parade of improved crops is sometimes taken for granted. Plant research has bred into them special qualities for fresh use, freezing and canning. Marketing research has improved methods of handling and storing. Here is maid service. Maid service on a grand scale for America's millions of salad bowls. Even little radishes are cleaned until they shine like cherries before automatic packaging protects their quality. Behind the miracle of our abundant meat supply are better breeds of livestock and improved feeds. Cattle and other meat animals are carefully inspected for safety and wholesomeness. Meat products are better today than they were a generation ago and more plentiful. This feedlot uses a train to help finish cattle for high-grade meat. Meat, the most important item in the American food budget. Turkeys, which used to be a holiday feast, 
have been bred in smaller sizes and with more white meat to please you and your family. One of the most remarkable food miracles is the story of chicken, a triumph of research on the farm and in the marketing system. Once something special for Sunday dinner, chicken, inspected and grated, is now thrifty every day. Yes, in one generation, people of this country have doubled their consumption of poultry. Farm research has led to the control of disease, improvement of breeds, advancement of production. Marketing research has developed low-cost methods of mass distribution in processing, storing, handling, and packing. And these boxes join the never-ending parade of food. Food on the move, crisscrossing the country. The boxes are loaded on trains and trucks. These huge refrigerators on wheels bring farm products to assembly points and connect central markets with retail stores. Transportation and terminal markets are being developed to serve the growing America, to bring products from farm to city in the most economical way possible. This great city market is the result of modern marketing research. Inspecting and grading at various points assure you of high quality vegetables and fruits. Certain farm products are stored to make them available the year round, thus balancing periods of plenty and periods of scarcity. Some crops now keep from season to season. These apples, for instance. Scientists have found that polyethylene liners can best preserve their quality in storage. And so agriculture advances as research creates new industries to produce new products. Meet some of the cooks you hire when you buy convenience foods. These women are checking fresh potatoes before making them into instant mashed. The work goes on in large plants of the United States and Canada, where millions of bushels are processed. This new use gives the potato farmer greater stability for his crop. After being cooked, potatoes are dried and rolled into tissue-thin, dehydrated sheets. These are broken into flakes or granules of standard quality, texture, color, and taste. Packaged instant potatoes give the housewife a new convenience. This shelf item will save her 23 minutes of cooking time. Research with consumers helped put the new product on the market. Other scientists have fixed the glutens in flour so that industry cooks can make your favorite bake and serve products. In this case, a mechanical cook fries chickens, then combines them with pre-cooked vegetables to be frozen on individual serving trays. Now anyone who can heat and serve can cook a meal. When scientists stabilized shortening, ready-mixed bread, cake, and rolls became a reality. Scientists are also working on such things as a powdered whole milk that dissolves instantly in cold water and tastes like fresh milk. What's more, they are studying the best ways to package and market this product. Thus, agricultural research in colleges, industry, and government goes forward. Result, new products, new businesses, more jobs, greater buying power for the products of both farm and industry. Among the many valuable new products created in agricultural laboratories are man-made vitamins, films and fibers from high amylose starch, mass-produced antibiotics, and the blood plasma extender Dextran, made from sugar. 
While scientists conduct research in new uses for farm crops, they also try to improve those products already in use. From cotton, nature fiber, science has given us the miracles of wash and wear fashions. Cotton fabrics with permanent pleats and clothes that resist wrinkles. Treatments have been developed for wool garments to keep them from shrinking when washed. And tanning agents, now made from a new kind of starch, produce leathers that are soft and luxurious. Each advance in agricultural knowledge helps everyone, whether you farm or not. Eventually, all the good things reach the retail store. Yes, the corner grocery has really grown up. Shoppers enter the supermarket on one side, while on the other, a steady stream of products is delivered on a tight schedule. It is here that the miracles of research and services are tied together for the consumer. Every day, from American farms and ranches, from distant parts of the world, from packing sheds and processing plants across the nation, comes the great variety of foods Americans demand. The supermarket, created by research and industry, is the showplace of today's agriculture. Help yourself to a miracle. Yes, here is where the shopper benefits from the work of the scientist and the farmer, the processor and the marketer. Now in one shopping trip, the average family can buy a full week's supply of groceries, much of it with built-in maid service. And getting the food to the customers requires many more workers than are needed to grow the food. This has been made possible by the fact that each American farm worker feeds more people than any other farmer on earth. History teaches that a nation grows according to its agriculture, the very basis of life. And most of our children are stronger and grow up to live longer. Eating more nutritious food and drinking more milk in school help safeguard their health. For it is only with today's food that tomorrow's citizens can grow healthy. And so Americans of all ages, in cities, suburbs, and rural areas, will remain the best fed, best clothed, best housed people in the world, thanks to more and more miracles from agriculture. Yeah.